love, they yell at each other all the time. Oh, but that's true. Ask him, he's been married for how long? Over 20-something years. Over 20-something years. Look at him, though. He look mad. (laughs) You don't look happy, brother. You don't look happy. on TV as a bailiff on a long-running judge show. Now the tables have turned, and he's found himself on the other side of the law. The Texas sheriff's deputy has now been charged with murdering his own wife. He was the burly bailiff on the popular judge show Justice for All with Christina Perez. Now he's facing justice, charged with murdering his wife. All rise. More from investigators about a woman who was shot and killed in a home in the Sunnyside neighborhood yesterday. Police tell us Patricia Spivey was found just after 3 a.m. yesterday. They say her husband, an off-duty Harris County Sheriff's deputy, is the one who called 911 to report an accidental shooting. We learned her husband was the bailiff on a TV court show for several years. Our Matt Doherty has been following this story since after it happened yesterday. He is at the home where it happened. We've been here outside the house all day long, and since we've been here, nobody has gone in and nobody has come out. When police first got here, they say the husband had been shot in the leg and Pamela Spivey was dead. The husband, who is also a deputy, was rushed to the hospital. Property records show a man named Renard Spivey is the owner of this home in the 5,000 block of Briscoe. Neighbors said the same Renard Spivey appeared on a TV courtroom reality show called Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. According to Spivey's IMDb profile, he appeared as a bailiff on the program from 2012 to 2016. The profile also shows he did some other movie work and that Renard Spivey is a deputy. You're going to hit a page's turn. What's up, Lollipop Squad? You guys, oh my God, I have tragic breaking news for our coffee and conversation. Girl, don't y'all know that the judge from Christina Perez show, if y'all don't know what show that she had, she had the um, Justice for All, the Big Buff Bailiff, the Big Buff Bailiff from her show has killed his wife. Child, what is this world coming to? We see these people on TV and think maybe they got some type of sense. You on TV, right? No, no, no. They have zero sense. Renard is 63 years old. He killed his wife, Patricia Spivey, which is 52 years old, because she told him that he is getting a little out of hand with the steroid use, okay? A little out of hand. And clearly, he got way too out of hand with the steroid use that he done buffed up, turned into the Incredible Hulk, and killed his wife. And let me say, I'm going to say, even though the police didn't say it, him shot himself in the leg to try to make it seem like it was an accident. Boy, bye. Ain't nobody finna shoot your big ass in the leg and then just going to stop shooting, okay? Because you were abusive to her. That's what her brother said. That's what her family said. Washington, Patricia's brother, had several conversations with Renard Spivey that night. It was about their relationship. I look up and man, it's 11 o'clock. Man, we still on this phone. You know, same thing, you know, same thing. And it was all about the pills. Ezra told detectives his sister was concerned over Spivey possibly taking steroids. Well, Spivey was saying his wife was counting his low testosterone medication, and things escalated. Court records say Spivey told Ezra at some point she's going to make him rise up like the Incredible Hulk, and it ain't going to be good. And to say that, and knowing what the Hulk can do in the aftermath when it's over, all the damage and chaos that the Hulk creates, you know, so for you to say that Hulk going to come out, and it ain't going to be good. He hasn't been abusive to her, so she's just going to shoot you in your leg and just stop shooting. Oh, hell no. This dude killed her in cold blood because she told him he's taking way too many steroids. And basically, dude, you need to cut out with the cheating. First of all, why are you 63, Mr. Spivey, and you are still cheating? You're trash. You are trash, sir. You had your big milk duck head ass on this TV, standing up there like you just such, such a good guy. 
you know, it, it, this is what I mean by lower your expectations. We don't need to have any expectations for people, period. We look at people on TV, and because they are in a, a place of power, from that we gain respect. You are a deputy, you were a bailiff on a national TV show in which you told other men and women who were getting out of line how to straighten up. You are a whole officer out here that's here to protect and serve, and you are over here beating the crap out of your wife, done shot and killed the poor lady. Oh my God, you guys, this is crazy. Yeah, this just makes no sense. It amazes me the mess that people go through even in later years in life. These people are in their 50s, you guys. Okay, by this time, by the time you're in your 50s, your home should be bought. Your kids should be grown. You should have grandkids. Any problems that you used to have back when you was young, all that stuff's supposed to be over with. Okay, it's time for happy, happy, joy, joy. Let's relax. A steroid is that much more important to him than his wife. Like, he had to kill her because she was tired of steroids. That's trash, trash. People go through so many things. You never know what a person is going through. And this is like mind blowing. We had an actor some years back. I can't think of his name, but he killed his wife too. Yeah, these people are crazy, okay? People crazy. People is crazy. This man had everything going for himself, okay? You are a known face to the community. You still are a working man. You know, God bless you with funds. You had a beautiful home, beautiful wife, but they did not have a beautiful life, okay? The brother-in-law said they had been fighting the argument all the time. That he had been on the phone with his brother-in-law all the way up until 11 some o'clock at night talking about the same argument that clearly they had been having all day. 3.15 Sunday morning, Spivey called 911 saying they had been fighting and he accidentally shot his wife when they were tussling with a gun and his wife shot him in the leg. His wife was shot twice, leading detectives to say that was inconsistent with an accident. I should have acted on it and that's going to eat me up. For a long time, forever, but him saying that and then acting on it, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. This is Spivey brother feels so sad, but sir, this is not your fault. You had no idea that that man was going to kill your sister. I'm pretty sure you had no idea that something so simple as steroid use would cause a death. Okay, simple stuff. I say it all the time. Arguments, people have arguments, people have disputes. But this man has literally took his wife's life over a small situation. You're having an affair, you're having an affair. That's not worth you killing your wife over. I'm sorry, it's not. It's not worth you killing your husband over. They want to have an affair. Guess what? Maybe that's not the person you need to be with. If this person has started to use drugs in, the, in a manner that you do not like, if you see they're just changing their behavior or you're just not with it, then get up and leave out that argument. See, that's why you don't argue with y'all. You just have to call it is what it is and call it what it was, what it was. Because this man clearly has killed this lady and this is a sad, tragic story. So now every time I see reruns of the show, this big milk dud, Eva ass, head ass man is going to be on there. And I'm like, I'm sick into my stomach. I just remember watching him laugh and giggle, and he's just sitting up there all swole up. Do you, dude, dude, you kill your whole wife. You get zero respect. I'm sorry. You have an affair, have your affair. You want to pop steroids, pop steroids, but sir, killing was a little bit too much, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So right now, you guys, he is arrested. He is in custody and being charged and has been charged with killing his wife as the report said he tried to make it seem like it was an accident but when they actually looked at how everything was laid out it wasn't no accident he killed his wife and he probably shot himself too houston texas baby yeah i don't trust no police i'm sorry i don't trust it see people try to say it's a race thing I don't trust police, period. I think all of them look cuckoo. Most of them look cuckoo. I'm not trying to offend people. I'm just saying it's something about having a badge or whatever or power that makes people more crazier because they feel that they have the right to do anything. He has been over there abusing this woman for how 
God knows how long. Who is she going to call? Who could she call if the man that is abusing her works for the police department? There's no one to call because, baby, they're not going to lock him up. Half of them don't lock the average Joe up. So you think they're going to lock up someone of their own kind? They're not. Okay? And it's sad. And I just think about how many families probably go through this. That they're married to someone with the badge. And the badge protects them but doesn't protect the wife or the kids. Or vice versa. You might have some strong armed woman that want to come home and slap her husband around after a bad day. Who's going to protect him? Yeah, if you guys are going through anything that's domestic, I will leave the domestic violence hotline down below. You guys are not alone. Do not feel alone. Do not feel embarrassed to tell someone what you are going through. These things happen every day, every minute. The sooner that we speak out, the better. Okay, you speaking out might can save your life. You speaking out might can save someone else's life. Because look, look at this situation right here, you guys. This is an elderly couple. He's 63. 63 and Al killing his wife. He's 60. You got not here. Listen to this. He is 63, still taking steroids, and still having affairs. Like, y'all. I really feel so sad for the family. This is devastating news. I hate when I click on and that I see someone has killed their loved one. Someone has hurt, severely hurt their loved one. It, it really hurts me. And it's, it's very tragic. And my condolences to the family, you guys. Renard. Spivey, I hope that they throw the book at you and I hope that they prosecute you to the fullest. Not only were you older, you knew better, you were bigger, and you were just straight up trifling and wrong. Okay, just, just pass the peas like you used to do. Sir, you are trifling and you are wrong and you deserve the entire book threw at you. And the audacity of you trying to make it seem like it was an accident. You're trash, okay? If you or anyone you know is going through domestic violence, please do not be afraid to speak out. I will leave the link down in my description box, you guys. You have to speak up. You have to speak out. You have to get out, okay? Period. Until next time, you guys. See you guys later.